Hello everyone. In this video here we'll be doing a demonstration on how to add motion to a picture in Photoshop. Uh, now this particular version here I'm using a CS5 on a Mac operating system. Uh, this also does apply to the Windows version of Photoshop as well as previous versions to CS5. Now in this project here what I'll be doing is actually adding uh, blur to the background itself as well as a radial style blur to the rims. First we want to start by doing is actually creating a layer uh, for the body itself. Then we'll continue on for a layer for the uh, rims and side wall. Now the rims and side wall for the front and back will be on their uh, own separate layer. So have another two layers on top of that. And then you want another layer for uh, the tire tread uh, which touches the pavement itself. Now selecting the marquee tool here, let's highlight the vehicle itself. Making sure you have the background layer selected. Going to edit, copy, edit, paste. Once you have that selected, you should be left with something that looks like this. Now just rename this layer because it will be only the body itself of the vehicle. Going to our polygonal lasso tool, we'll just delete uh, any of the image background that we don't want on this layer itself. Going along here. Once you have the area selected, just hit delete. And you should be left with something that looks like this. And you just want to continue on to the rest of the vehicle itself until you only have, uh, just to skip ahead here a little bit, turn this layer off, so you have something that looks like this. So basically what this layer will be, uh, this will be on top of uh, the whole existing image itself and this will be the only uh, part of the whole image that won't actually have the blur uh, compared to the rest of the image. So you also want to do the same thing with the rims themselves so I've just uh, I've already done this. You see there and uh, you also want to have the tires themselves on their own separate layers like so. Now we'll start with the uh, rim blur. Selecting the front wheel itself Selecting our marquee tool. Select the front rim here. And what we'll do is we'll insert this actually into a uh, new project window itself. Uh, now what I found when doing a radial blur, uh, what happens is that you actually have to work with the whole image area itself. You don't actually work with a specific area of a layer, uh, which can make it quite difficult to actually find the center of this rim to actually give that realistic blur uh, to the rim itself. So you do edit, copy, and file, new. So automatically select the width and height of the uh, image on the layer for the rim. And then do edit, paste. You can see you're left with something like this. Now go to filter, blur, radio blur. I've already had the preset set to 10. Uh, blur method you want as spin, then quality at best. And as you can see what I mentioned here earlier, this does move around. So in order to find it in a larger image, this can be very difficult. So this is why I've inserted this into a new project window. Just click OK. It's left with something else like this. Now using your marquee tool again, selecting the rim itself, we'll copy this and paste it back into the original project. Do edit, copy, going back here, do edit, paste, OK. Now taking your selection tool or your move tool, just move it down here, just on top. And this can be a little tricky to just line up here. Mine just auto grip, so that's perfect. So you should be left with something else like this. Renaming the layer here, reduce any confusion. So just a comparison with the front wheel itself. Just turn the layer off, turn it back on. As you can see it kind of has that effect of the rim itself spinning. Now you want to continue to do the same effect with the rear wheel itself. 
I've already done both rooms here, so just skipping ahead again. As you can see, this is what you should have. Now, turning the background layer back on here, you can see what the kind of comparison is here. So now we have the rim spinning. Now we actually need the background blurring as if the vehicle is passing uh, by quickly. So do the same thing, making sure you have your background layer selected. We'll go to filter, blur, and this time we'll do a motion blur. You can see it's kind of preset to 10 here. I say we'll do a 35 value. And you can also select the angle of it. So considering the car is uh, somewhat of an angle in the image itself, we'll just say do it about 12% should be good. Once you select your desired amount, you click OK. You should be left with something else like this. Now as for that body layer I spoke about earlier, so once I turn that layer back on here, you can see now the overlay on top here so the vehicle is actually clear in the background itself. Now for moving on to the tires themselves, so turning on these layers here, what we'll do is selecting the rear tire first, might be a little harder to see on this image here but you can see there's actually still a tread pattern in here. So what we'll be doing is actually adding a motion blur to those also just to give the effect that they are actually spinning. So do the same thing, filter, blur again, motion blur. Now on this time here, considering the rims are on a uh, different axis as the background itself, we'll do a 90% here. You can see how that little area is selected here, so we we'll just zoom in a little bit. You can see how it does the blur pattern there. We won't do actually 35%, we'll just less it up to say 10%, same as what the radial blur was on the rims itself, clicking OK. See, do that one there, then we'll move on to the front rim itself, do the same thing, filter, blur, motion blur, and should we already have the preset value itself. So you have the area selected already, so click OK. And once you've done with all the, uh, adding in all the filters themselves on the image, you should be left with something that looks like this. Now thank you for watching my tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Also, please subscribe to my channel and rate this video. Thank you.